got to be honest, when the latest Dragon's Dogma 2 trailer was shown during PlayStation's January State of Play, it wasn't one of the things that really grabbed my attention. That's probably just because I'm not much of a medieval fantasy RPG fan on the whole, and it likely makes me something of a minority. In fairness, looking back at the trailer without other distractions, the battles against huge dragons and the array of other mythical beasts do look quite good. There's no shortage of magical effects either, and the whole thing is set against vast open landscapes to serve as the setting. All the more reason then that it's good news to hear that the game will include a photo mode for virtual photographers to fill their fantasy boots. Or is it? Of course, Capcom doesn't have the greatest track record with photo mods. Resident Evil Village, anybody? So what should we expect from Dragon's Dogma 2? Well, there isn't a huge amount to go on just yet, apart from this one screenshot that was shared by the DD Capcom social media account. It was posted along with the caption, This game also has a photo mode, so be careful. Presumably in reference to the fact that it shows the character and some companions fighting a... Well, I don't actually know what that is. That's partly on account of the magic effects covering it up, but also because of the obscene amount of chromatic aberration that's been applied to the image. If nothing else though, this screenshot tells us one thing, is the photo mode includes an aberration feature. I just hope there's a way to turn it off. There is more to be learned from this little preview though. There's a third grid visible to aid composition for a start, and translating the Japanese text reveals the rest. The button legend on the left includes three reset options, one for the camera, one for the current tab, and one for all settings, as well as the inputs to hide the UI, exit the photo mode, and rotate the camera. That last one is assigned to the right stick, and it's worth noting that there's nothing shown for the left stick. A single camera rotation option, plus the fact that the character is dead center on screen, makes me think that we're probably looking at a tethered orbit camera here. Or worse still, the same thing we saw in Resident Evil Village with a fixed camera that only rotates on the spot. Moving on to the UI and what is apparently the fourth of six separate tabs titled Screen Effect 2, we can see options for color filters and their intensity, lens distortion, and as predicted, chromatic aberration, both with intensity sliders and on-off toggles. At the very bottom of the UI is a tooltip for the selected filter setting, and there's also a help button. It'd be interesting to see what tips this has in store, but I doubt that it will answer the question, help, why can't I actually move the camera around? Dragon's Dogma 2 is scheduled for release in March 2024, and while you wait, be sure to subscribe to The Fourth Focus for more in-game photography content.